it is Christmas Eve and Gotham has been overrun by super villains. Yeah, the likes of Killer Croc, Electrocutioner, Deathstroke, Firefly, Deadshot, Shiva, Copperhead and Bane all out for the blood of the bat as a bounty has been placed on his head. Whoever is gonna win is gonna be famous and rich. Does the list of these names excite you a bit? Well if it does then this game is totally worth it for you because you are in for a surprise. This game has the best boss fights in the entire Arkham series. Along with these amazing super villains you are gonna be crossing paths with the likes of Anarchy, the Mad Hatter, Riddler, Penguin and corrupt GCPD officers like Brandon and his squad. The story will also make you come in contact with the new villain, Black Mask, who is sort of the main antagonist in the story. Batman and Joker, they go hand in hand, so yeah, he's present in the story. And you will be able to find out how Harley Quinn ran into Joker for the first time. Well, she was a bit different back then. Since this game is a prequel to the first two Arkham games, you play as a younger version of Batman who's a lot more aggressive and rough around the edges. So yeah, you are gonna be able to experience his growth as a character through this story. And you also will be able to experience the world from the perspective of the Joker, which is very interesting actually and gives you a good understanding of the dynamic between the Batman and the Joker. The gameplay features the signature free flow combat of the Arkham series and the amazing gadgets of the bat. So yeah, build up your combos, use your gadgets, take out goons after goons, rinse and repeat. Never get sold. There are some new enemy types as well that spice up the gameplay and add some decent challenge. Use your detective abilities and x-ray vision to solve crimes. And yeah, the predator encounters are present and are as fun as ever. The game features Batwing as a means to fast travel and it works fine. So Gotham as your playground with an amazing cast of supervillains after you, a decent story with great characters and a decent amount of twists. So are there any downsides to this game? Well actually a few. The first one has to be Gotham itself. It is bland actually because there are no people out there on the streets. Only goons and policemen so it feels lifeless actually. The second thing has to be the bugs. This game has some bugs where the enemies they just disappear. So yeah, the bugs are not game breaking but they are there. This game lacks some polish I think because it does not feel like Arkham City. That game was just so well polished and fantastic overall. Anyways, the third thing has to be the performance especially for the time when this game came out way back in 2013. It was not an amazing title in terms of performance but today with the specs of these days it should not be a problem for anyone. So yeah, this game is totally worth it if you are looking for a game with amazing boss fights and a good story with great characters. This title is maybe not as well polished as the other games in the Arkham series but it is far from a bad game in every way. If you missed out on this title back in the day, it is a great time to jump into it before Gotham Knights comes out. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Like this video as it helps a lot and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.